Hi, this is Jared Vossen from the Utah Education Network, and today we're going to take a look at EBSCO. EBSCO is in the General Reference Collection, and it is a database that has a collection of academic journals, periodicals, news articles, and things like that that would be great for student research. And as we go into EBSCO, you can see that there's lots of different databases databases within here. Some on hobbies and crafts, some on history, novelists, K-8+, through plus, points of view. At the top there's a few of the kids ones which we'll take a look at. And then um, we have the EBSCO host which is really nice because within that there are even more databases if we click on all databases. And these are more academic in nature. You can see they've got the academic search premiere. And then as you scroll down you can see ERIC which is you know the Education Resource Information Center where lots of articles and journals are posted so EBSCO host is great for doing some real good academic research and would be wonderful for that if we take a look at the kids search you'll notice that they have pictures on here and you could search by topics that they already have set up for you or you could just type in a topic we're going to type in habitat and then it breaks it down um, by all the you can see the list there of the ones that it pulls up and you'll notice some of them have full text in HTML some of them have a PDF and then it'll give you the size but right here in blue with those numbers that's going to give you the Lexile count and so depending on what grade you teach you know you're going to have different reading levels and so it's nice to be able to see what the Lexile count is for the article that you find and you can also filter by all results or magazines newspapers and so forth you can sort by oldest relevant, you know, newest uh, as well. And if you do a detailed search, then you can look for certain words that would be in there or what you're searching for. You can <clears throat> narrow it down by Lexile reading level and just all sorts of things in here. Current events, topics, so lots of ways to really narrow your search down and have better results. If we go to teacher resources, this will actually link to the curriculum standards. If we go to United States, we can go to Utah, and this will take us to the State Office of Education core standards for any of the courses that you could that you might be teaching. And so that's really nice to have in there. They also have a dictionary in Kids Search and an encyclopedia as well. So Kids Search is really uh, a nice place to have our younger elementary students search. We have in EBSCO we also have Search Asaurus, which is set up more as a dinosaur themed uh, database, and you can see it's going to be about the same. You've got the dictionary, the encyclopedia. If I type in habitat, again, and I could search by Lexile if I wanted to, and then full text or not full text I can search for, and then it's going to pull up. And you can see it looks a lot the same as the kids search did. And again, I can change by relevance or newest or oldest. If I go to an article in here, this is what it looks like. This is the abstract, and here is the full text here. Now, some of these may not contain the full text. This one does. And you can see you can pull a PDF of the full text. And that's so that's what it looks like um, in the publication that it's in. So that's a that's a look at Searchasaurus. Let's go back to our list of databases in 
EBSCO and let's take a look at the Novelist K-8+. Plus. What this does is this shows you books that are for different reading levels. You can see we've got ages 9 to 12, ages 0 to 8, we have fiction or nonfiction. And then within that, they kind of have it broken down, like Always in Demand, The Best of 2015. And you can see what those are. And then they have some uh, tabs across the top, World build, Building and Fast Pace, Character Driven, Plot Driven. And so lots of great things to you know search for. Books for our students to be reading, they have the Novelist Plus, which would be for our older students. Um, as well. So this is this is really nice. See you've got adult, you've got teen, then you've got ages 9 to 12 and ages 0 through 8. So really kind of nice. You can do an advanced search and in advance you can see you can look for publication dates if it's an award winner, if it you know if the reviews are really good, what kind of document it is, the nationality of the author, I mean really anything that you want. Again you've got a Lexile count here. So really kind of neat, uh, a neat way of finding new books. So there, there's lots of great things in EBSCO. I'm just going to look in one more resource, and that's going to be our points of view. So points of view is going to have different topics and give you different points of view on them. So for instance, we, were talk we looked for habitat in our kids search. Let's go to Earth and Environment here. And we can go to more, and let's say that we want to look at the ocean policy. And so this will bring up kind of an encyclopedia like um, reference where you can see what exactly the, the overview of this issue is. Kind of says understanding the discussion, history, what it looks like today. And then you can get into some different things here, but you also have the ability to listen to this, and you can see you can change that to an Australian or a British accent to listen in. So I, I pulled up some of the different um, references that are under ocean policy. You can see there's not a whole lot here, but if I go to this one, this counterpoint, this is from a book. And then over here on the right, here's what's really nice, is I can add this to a folder and save all the references. The one thing to be aware of is you that, that would only be for that session that you were using. The computer won't always save it for you there. But, but during that session, you can keep, these, keep track of those. You can print this. You can email it. You can save it. And they have a cite button here. And this will cite in all sorts of different forms, not just MLA or APA, but in lots of different ways. You can create a link, you can share this. So the really nice features here in EBSCO to be able to cite your source and find lots of great references. So that's, a, that's an overview of EBSCO. If you're having your students search, if they're younger, you can have them use the kids search or the search of Saras. If they're older, like maybe junior high, high school, and so forth, there's plenty of databases that, that you can look through and do some good research. And instead of having our students on Google, where you know a lot of the sources are unreliable, EBSCO has vetted great sources, easy to cite, and easy to save and share. So that's a look at EBSCO, and go ahead and get searching.